projection is one of the most common and powerful techniques you can learn inside of Nuke. Its method of mixing the 2D and 3D systems can be a real time saver when it comes to things such as rig removal, plate cleanup, or prep. And the first two tool sets I want to explain here deal with just that, rig removal using projection. Now, let's take a look at the sequence. It is only 43 frames. However, if I wanted to clean up some of the road, let's say, individually on each frame, that would take me quite a long time and I might not be that consistent about it. So instead, we're going to use projection to clean up a single frame and then propagate that fix throughout the entire sequence. So on this uh, sequence itself, I actually want to clean up some of the left-hand side of the road here. You can see there are these uh, tire marks on the left-hand side on this sand bank, ranging from about here to here. And there's also the skid mark in the middle of the road that we want to clean up and fix. So I want to basically change this from this into this clean version. Now over the next couple of videos, we'll be looking at a couple of different ways to achieve the same result. However, these first two tool sets use the same technique. We're going to create a single clean frame and then use projection to make that fix work throughout the entire sequence. And in fact, the only difference between this left hand side tool set and this right hand side one is that over here on the left, we're using a roto paint node to actually clean up that frame inside of Nuke whilst on the right, we're using an existing frame that might have been created in something such as, let's say, Photoshop. So let's take a quick look at this left-hand toolset, and I'll run top to bottom explaining what's going on. So at the very top, we have three inputs. On the left-hand side, we have our tracked camera, and you can see I've included my camera tracking setup here in the example as well. In the middle, we have our plate, or our original image sequence, or movie in this case. And then on the right hand side, we have our geo input. Now this geo could of course be a full set reconstruction coming from your match moving team, but as I sadly don't have a match moving team, it is just a card which I've roughly positioned in 3D space to match up with the road. And to quickly show you that in 3D, I'm just going to bring in a scene node. I'm going to get rid of my properties on that and hook up my camera and also my card and then view that scene. So you can see we have just those two elements, the camera on the left hand side and the card in the middle. And importantly, if I play this back, the camera is of course going to move, but the geometry, the card, is going to remain static. So I'm just going to hit stop on that, go back to the beginning, get rid of my scene and take a look at my plate. And we're going to move on to the first step of this process, which is our clean plate frame creation. Now in this section of the tool set, we're doing a couple of different things. First of all, we're choosing which frame we want to clean up. We're then cleaning up that frame directly here inside of Nuke with this Roto Paint node. We're then projecting that single clean frame onto the geometry that exists in our scene. And then finally we're recapturing, we're refilming that clean frame through the shot camera. So let's just run top to bottom and just take a look at each step of this process. So the first thing we want to do is choose the frame that we want to work on. So in this case I've got two frame holds, one which is frame holding the camera and one which is frame holding the image sequence. So in this case, I've just chosen the very first frame to uh, frame hold. So if I play this back at this point, you can see that we no longer see the plate playing back. We only see the frame that we've chosen. So I'm just going to hop back to the start on that one. Underneath that, you can see we've got a degrain simple node. And that's because it's always important to slightly degrain your plate if you can uh, before you start doing cleanup. And then we'll add some grain back in at the very end. So with that done, I'm then using a Roto Paint node to clean up my frame. Uh, and you can see if I view that, the result, let's just take a look and I'll just turn that on and off. So you can see, let me just zoom in here a little bit. This left hand side, I've just taken some time to use the clone tools inside of Roto Paint to clone kind of clean sections of the road over any of these tire tracks and also remove this middle section of the road here. We then move on to the projection itself. And you can see this backdrop has three inputs. On the left hand side, we have our static frame held camera. In the middle, we have our cleaned up single frame. And on the right, we have our static geometry. And inside of the backdrop, we first of all have a project 3D node, which is gonna project that cleaned up frame through our static camera. And then finally, we have an apply material node, which is gonna apply that projected texture to our static geometry. So if I take a look at this apply material node, just hit one on it to see the 3D view, you can see exactly what's going on. Now, none of these elements in this scene now are animated. So if I play this back, nothing should change whatsoever. And this is very, very important. We have our static camera projecting our fix onto our geometry. And with this in place, all that remains is for us to film this static scene through our moving shot camera. 
So I'm just gonna hit stop on this quickly and hop over to our scanline render in this final part of the clean plate frame creation backdrop. So if I view this and hop back over into 2D, you can see that we get this kind of partial look of our original plate. And actually what we're seeing here is that textured geometry and nothing else. And you can see it has an alpha map to match, which is gonna be very important in a minute. Now, of course, because we're refilming this through the shot cam from the project, if I was to hit play on it, it is going to move over time. Importantly, the texture on that plate, the texture on that geometry isn't changing. But of course, our angle of it, our view of it is. And all that remains at this point is to merge that fix over the original background plate. And that's exactly what this last part of the toolset is doing here. We're first of all isolating just the required parts of our fix. Now in my case there is a little bit of the car showing through just in this top corner so I'm rotoring that out with our roto node. This grade node could be used to match lighting changes across the course of the sequence but in my case I didn't need it so I'm just going to disable that. And then finally I'm adding in the grain that we removed earlier before we did our cleanup on that single frame. Finally at the bottom we're merging our fix over our background plate and you can see if I disable and enable my merge here the result of our fix matches perfectly, at least on frame one. But let's take a look at playing this back just to make sure that that fix matches on every single frame of my sequence. And you can see, because we're mixing those 2D and 3D systems perfectly, it absolutely does. I can pick any frame of the sequence now and that fix will perfectly match the camera position and stick to the road exactly as I need it. So that's a quick look at this left hand tool set, the rig removal projection setup with clean plate frame creation. However, I just quickly want to look at the differences on this tool set. This is the one where you have an existing clean plate frame coming in from something like Photoshop or another image editing program. Now just looking at the setups here, you can see they're pretty similar. However, of course, this left hand one has a roto paint node, whereas the one on the right does not. And the one on the right does have this extra input at the top for that external clean plate frame. However, the contents of it are very, very similar. We basically take the inputs, we bring them in, we frame hold our camera, we project that clean plate uh, through that camera onto our geometry and apply it using the apply material. We render it through the scanline renderer node, through the shot cam, exactly as we did before. And then finally, we composite that result over the background just like in the other tool set. So a very, very similar technique, but it gives you a couple of options for whether or not you want to clean up directly inside of Nuke or in an external application. So these two initial projection tool sets provide a really quick way of applying fixes across the course of an entire sequence. They do of course rely on the fact that you have access to a tracked shot camera and some geometry for your shot. However, as you can see, you can easily create those inside of Nuke if you don't have them already. And this is a very, very quick time-saving way of applying fixes to your plates. Mm -hmm.